We developed Bernoulli's equation by assuming we could follow a particle and keep track of its mechanical energy, kinetic energy, potential energy of elevation and pressure. If we can do that, we'll have Bernoulli's equation, which we can apply in a wide variety of circumstances. That's one of our key learning outcomes in this course. In this video, we're going to look at some situations where you can apply Bernoulli, and more importantly, some situations where you can't, in hopes of keeping you from making too many mistakes. We derived Bernoulli's equation. Now the question is, when can we use it, and when can't we use it? Bernoulli's equation has some requirements. You can only apply Bernoulli's equation on a streamline, in steady flow. That's so that you can follow the path of a particle and have all of the particles on the same path in a steady flow on a streamline. There must be no mechanical energy added or removed. No added energy, no energy removed. If we consider a bluff body like this one, with flow coming from this side, uniformly over here, it's going to have to divide to go around either side of the body. Where it's in direct contact with the solid, there's going to be some friction, and this little shaded region is a boundary layer where the fluid has been slowed down by that friction. So you'll notice the velocity here is much smaller than the velocity over here because of that friction. In addition, and the same thing will happen up at the top as down here at the bottom, when we get to this sharp corner here, the flow is going to separate and there will be some recirculation. The flow will tend to go around in a circle like this. So the velocity is going this way down here, but is going backwards up here. So we have a velocity distribution that looks something like this. And this shear layer in here where we've got high rates of change of velocity and thus high shear stresses. Again, high friction of one piece of fluid on another piece of fluid. Bernoulli's equation applies only on streamlines, so we'll need to draw some streamlines for this flow. If this system is symmetric above and below, then the first streamline I'm going to draw is one that comes right in here and hits right on the front at a stagnation point. So we'll call that point 2 and this point upstream point 1. So all of the flow above this goes around to the top, all of the flow below goes around the bottom. And if there was a particle that was coming right along this line, it would come smack right, here, right in here, come to a stop, and it might dribble off in just one direction or the other. Now, can we apply Bernoulli's equation between point 1 and point 2? It's on a streamline. We're in a steady flow. There's no energy added or removed on that line. So yes, that's okay. What about from location 1 to 3? Or from 3 to 2? They're both okay too. Now how about another streamline that's a little further away here? Say one that goes off from here and flows in like that. It's diverted by the body and the flow accelerates and then it follows a path something like that. We could call this location 4 and following along this path to location 5 we're following a streamline we're in steady flow there's been no added energy just the flow is accelerating and the pressure will be dropping and there's no energy removed because we're well outside this boundary layer area where we've got this friction slowing down the flow close to the wall so from four to five we're gonna be okay but we'll find the exact opposite to this movement from one to two coming to a stop the pressure went up to the stagnation pressure because that's a stagnation point. Over here, the flow accelerated and the pressure went down because it was speeding up to get around the obstacle. How about another streamline, one that's very close to this first streamline and goes into the body, something like this, slows down and accelerates around the outside here and then carries on through the boundary layer like that. We'll call this point 0.6 and that point 0.7.
Can we apply Bernoulli's equation from point 0.6 to point 0.7? It's along a streamline. It's still a steady flow. There's no added energy. But there is energy removed by friction once we get into the boundary layer here. We're taking energy out and the flow is slowing down because of it. So, no. We can't use that all the way from point 0.6 to point 0.7. How about if we go back to this streamline and consider a point out here somewhere, say point 0.8. By the time we get to point 0.8, we're seeing the flow has been slowed down a fair bit due to interaction with this shear layer. Energy is being taken away from that particle and transported into this recirculation zone. So, going from point 0.4 to 5, we're okay. Going from point 0.5 to point 0.8, no because we've got this shear layer that's taking energy out of the flow. So we're not obeying that requirement. If we wanted to have a better arrangement, we could go from the ideal Bernoulli's equation to an energy equation. It has all the same terms, And in addition, it also has some terms to allow for added energy. So all of the energy that we had at location one, plus any energy that we added, must be equal to all the energy that we still have at point two, plus any energy that we lost, energy that was removed. This would include friction, it might include useful work taken out by a turbine or it might be totally disorganized work, energy taken out by turbulence. That's what's happening in here is we're taking energy out of the flow in this swirling motion. Things that might add energy to the flow, pumps, if we were in a pipe flow, or fans, if we were in an airflow with, with blowing air, anything that adds energy to the flow to speed it up or increase the pressure. So now you're in a good position to look at some streamlines and decide which streamlines in the flow meet the requirements that we've got no energy added, no energy removed.